Home ventilation strategies have been around since the beginning of time. There are four main techniques, and they vary in terms of effectiveness. The first one is natural ventilation. It is as simple as it sounds. Natural ventilation is bringing in outdoor air by opening windows and doors. This strategy does not work all the time. If you live in the south, opening the window doesn't work in the summertime when it is hot and humid. Conversely, in the north, we can open a window in January because it will let all the warm air out of the house. So natural ventilation is an option for a very specific period of time and dependent on geography. Another ventilation strategy is exhaust only. What does that mean? It means we rely on high contaminated areas to be exhausted, specifically bathrooms. Why? Because it is a high contamination area that has both gases, but more importantly, humidity from showers. But does that offer whole home ventilation? Not so much. In addition, it doesn't offer any filtered supply air and it doesn't temper the air that comes in through the cavities under doorways and windows within the structure. So if there are any contaminants within the cavities, you bring those in too, along with the fresh air. As we continue with home ventilation strategies, we have three more options. One is supply only. It doesn't give you a whole home ventilation. In addition, it doesn't offer any filtered supply air, nor does it temper the outdoor air. So those really hot, humid summer months are going to impact the indoor environment. In addition, those really cold months are going to impact the indoor environment because of the extremes of the outdoor air. Following that, we have balanced ventilation, which is almost perfect. Balanced ventilation offers a push-pull system where we take stale contaminated air, throw it out, and bring the same volume of fresh air into the home. Does it filter the air? Maybe not, but sometimes it can but it becomes very expensive to have filter boxes. Does it temper the air? No, it doesn't. And here we have the best option, which is balanced ventilation using energy recovery. Now, why is that important? Because it offers whole home ventilation, filtration, and tempering of the outdoor air. So in those summer months, instead of bringing in 90 degree air, 80% relative humidity, you are actually bringing in more like 78 degree air with a lower humidity. Conversely, in the winter, rather than bringing in minus 10 degree air, you're bringing more like 48, 50 degree air. So your HVAC system has the capacity to be able to maintain comfortable level at the same time, healthier indoor air. 